Hey everybody, it's Rizley. We're back at it again with Super Auto Pets. And they actually just released a new pack called the Golden Pack. Which seems that uh, its main thing is like it's less about stat gain and more about combinations and synergies and things like that. I'm actually going to keep playing the weekly just because I feel like it's a good slower introduction to the new animals. Although I realize I'll see less of the synergies maybe and I know that they sometimes keep some food out of the weekly that only really applies to certain packs, but... Alright, so let's give it a go. Okay, so yeah, right off the bat, I mean, a magpie is from the new pack. It's spend up to one gold and gain it back next turn. And I'm honestly not really sure if that's something where you have to save a gold and not spend it, or if just it says spend up to one gold and gain it back next turn means like, I mean, I'm obviously I'm automatically going to be spending like 10 gold every turn anyway, but... I do respect the chinchilla. I don't like the full dragon just because I feel like there's not all that many faint triggers, generally speaking. Oh, what a beautiful squad. Oh, blueberry is new. Give one pet the blueberry perk. Prioritize this for enemy random abilities. So I guess it's basically like counter, counter link power. Which is useful if only because, like I said, uh, it seems like these new animals are very much like... A lot about smaller stats and just kind of doing good things as you go, you know, like having cool abilities and things that a lynx that can just do so much damage to all, like so many enemies all at once at the beginning of the of the game. That's a uh, very strong. So some sort of counter thing like the blueberry, which like makes it focus fire and maybe your your weakest unit. I think that would be very useful. Oop. Double ducks. Oop. And then we'll save the deck only because I like leveling. We'll get back to that in just a second. Now, does our team have all that much power? Uh, no, there is almost no power. Oh my gosh, I do love the new, like, housey sort of backgrounds that they've added. Like, I started using the snow one with the Christmas hats because it was kind of Christmassy. Which I realize is kind of in the past at this point, but whatever. But this new, uh, like, squiggly background, it's just interesting because they've got all these animals that are just somehow in someone's room. Oh, and they switched the, uh, the health mechanics where it used to be, you know, like, you would lose a certain amount over time. Now it's just five hearts but if you if you reach turn three with a lost life gain one back did i lose no i guess i wasn't really paying attention but i guess you get one health back up to three and honestly i played a little bit before this just on my own and i feel like it's easier to win like i i had so much health i feel like at the end of most of my games like, I was, like, getting 10 pieces and I had, like, no health loss just because it seems like... Especially with that regen, you know? It's just, it just seems easier. I don't know. Easier to beat all the little teams. Maybe I was just, uh, running stats and because it's a counter stat, people are trying things out, you know? It's like a new release. The teams might not be super optimized as people are just trying out the different pets and stuff. Might have been the reason. Bro. Okay. Well, turtle with a wizard hat. I mean, it's physically impossible to beat a turtle with a wizard hat. So... Lux on them. We're still just on uh, turn four, so I don't want to get too many levels up right now. So I'm going to continue to save my duck, and I know I'm doing this like... Oh, I've got too many units right now that need levels. But both of these here, one here, do we even have a bison in the snack pack? No, there's no bison, which honestly, the only reason I really do this thing where I try to have like two that are leveling up at the same time instead of like just leveling that one up, because I like the idea of being able to get a bunch of a bunch of level fours like all at once you know all on one turn i do like the swan i feel like with these sorts of teams where it's less about stats and more about a special abilities having more gold is definitely really helpful and yes they did add like new ways to intro your pets into a game but i have something on fast and i'm so rapidly I'm used to rapidly clicking as soon as the game starts anyway that i rarely see mine although i think it's like they jump into the ceiling kind of like like spider-man like shoots down or whatever Okay, so we have enough to get some levels here. So, duck. Push the last enemy to the front. Works one time per battle. I could see how this could be useful. It's basically just a movement tool. But it just doesn't seem... I don't know. I, just because it's a unit that is only good if they happen to have a squad that is affected by that. As opposed to just always being kind of useful. It makes me less want to take it. Because I'm, I'm all about uh, things work always. No work, only sometimes. That's not useful. Even if the sometimes that it works, it's extremely useful. Okay, well I haven't for one seen a woodpecker yet, so I call cheats. They've hacked the game. Boof. 
Yeah, see, I feel like my team has not been great this entire time, and we're not even dead yet. Who would have thought? Should I be selling my ducks that I actually get benefits from the things that I'm doing? Maybe. The musk ox is new. Friend of fa ahead faints. Gain plus one plus two. So this is kind of a weird one because I feel like unless the enemy team like forces a bee onto you, the max this is going to get is like the person in front of you and if they summon something like one more. So it feels like he's only as good as himself plus possibly two triggers if you just put a bee on something ahead of him. But I think in the um, in the new pack that he came with, you know, outside of this, there are enemies like a slug that turns into three different units slowly as it dies. So I can definitely see how he's uh, a lot more useful probably in his own pack than he is in like this weekly right here. Oh my god, a sloth! Bruh, I'm gonna beat that sloth's ass. It always feels bad because it's so hard to find one that I feel like it's so... It's like sinful to kill a sloth. Honestly, I was kind of just talking about this musk ox. I don't know why I froze him. He's not really that useful. I also have this second duck that I didn't do anything with. Well, my chinchillas are definitely doing literally nothing. I guess I could use it just to get the ox out there. We don't really have anything that's useful for the whale to swallow, and I don't want any of those units, so... Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll feed this just to get this guy out here. Maybe I actually should have rolled just in case there was something else that we would want. This is all trash. We can run a woodpecker. The enemy team was running a woodpecker and it beat my butt, so it must be amazing. It doesn't really matter where we put him right now, just because he's... We don't have any summons, so is he a super yes useful member of the team? Maybe not. Does he have... <laughs> Does he have okay stats? Well, he might have, if he didn't just instantly die. Ergo, it's the game with the lynx right now. Alright, bird. I mean, it's just a moth left in some kid's bedroom. Very classic story. Classic tale. So we've got that. Um, I actually haven't- maybe I should have checked. Is there any- So until we get to six and we get the melon, there's actually like literally nothing besides maybe honey that I would even want to put on a toucan. So maybe he was a bit of a waste of a thing. I would like to sell the chinchilla if only because gain eight trumpets. I think this might be the only trumpet creator in the thing right now. This is a little bit of a waste because we're gonna kick one guy out, but- I don't know, eight. Here, we'll summon- So if we put him last, because this thing will summon a golden retriever, so at least he's actually gonna get two triggers out of that. Some sort of a baby synergy. I guess we could put this on you, if only because I don't want things to, like, stem my ox again. He's the biggest team player we got. Grapes. Gain more gold. I feel like I put this on a swan, just because instinctually my brain is like, grapes is money, swan is money. Grape is swan. Swan eat grape? No, I don't want to get more of the toucan just because it's literally not doing anything for us. Like, I think it's actually very specifically nothing. Now that I think about it, though, if we do put a bee on our swan, then our ox will get a swan buff, a honey buff, and a golden retriever buff. So that's probably the most optimal method you could use for him in this game pack. Level 3? You committed way too hard, this my dude. All right, fancy hat ox. All right, fancy hat ox. You do what you do. First daily game. Oh, that's cute. Oh, Nefer Nefertiti hat. Oh, that's pretty cute too. Yeah, so they have like new unlockables that you can get while you play as well. Which is interesting because it's kind of like just watching. Can I just do random hat? Okay, yeah, let's just do random hat. I have all of the previous ones unlocked, just because I've played like a ton of this game up until this point. The sun hat, I've never even seen that one, that's so cute. The witch hat, the bee hat, and then there's a new few of them that do cost money, which is sad because some of them are really adorable. Most specifically, mushroom hat, adorable. Burger hat, that's a classic. Paper hat, also adorable. Just a bunch of eggs, I love bees. Anything bee related is adorable as well. I don't know if, uh, I think the entrance is like everything else you have to pay for. I don't think I'm gonna randomly get any of these, but I also click so fast to the game that I don't really think it matters in the long run anyway. We respect the mosquito. I don't understand the magpie. The frilled dragon is poo. We choose to go with whatever we get. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, snipes, great. 
Oop, double snipes? Well, we had the same idea and they got luckier. By luckier, I mean just kind of whatever, because uh, we beat the butts. Chinchilla. Yeah, a moth is really something that you can only put something that has one health at the beginning, because if they also have a moth, anything at the beginning is going to die. It's kind of useless to put anything there. So I feel like I, whenever I choose a moth, I just end up putting the moth up front, and it's just like, you're required to be here. Which I feel like is a fine limitation for the beginning of the game. Like, right here. Their number one eunuch still got killed by me, so it was worth. A draw. <laughs> was it worth? Would something else have prevented that draw? I don't think so. So a sea turtle is also new. Friend summoned, if in battle, would give plus three health. Hmm. This is where I would put my summons, if I had any. So we can double up on that. Gain plus one attack and plus one for extra gold. Well, we're not currently getting any extra gold. It feels bad because there are these new units, but... I don't know if I'm going to be end up doing a whole lot with them because I... I don't know, I really do feel like they're somewhat more specific. Like, I think it's like the starfish pack or one of the last recent ones before this one that came out. I feel like those animals almost never get in here because it was very specific, like strawberry friend pack. You needed strawberries, but they couldn't randomize strawberries into the shop because if you if you had them and there were none of those pets, then it was just completely useless, so they excluded them. So like it's a whole pack that's kind of a standalone system. Which does make me kind of curious how long they'll be able to keep the like player count high. Well, I guess uh, that's the interesting part. Is that instinctively I was like, well, if they keep adding more packs and people are choosing which pack they want to play and go against, then it separates your player base more and more, you know? But because this game isn't live, it's like you're fighting against random other people. I guess it doesn't really never, like, it's never gonna die because of lack of players, because they could just start using really old things or making up randomized people to fight. You've got internal, you know? It's just forever lasting. It's the eternal game. Okay, so now we've got plus six, plus this. We have a extreme power up on the front of our house. I just put a B on you, but you are useless, so let's use this as a money round. And now that I say that, I did it because my intention was to buy the squirrel, just because I think I used a squirrel recently, although I don't normally use them, and I think he was pretty fun. Although I do realize stew and salad, I think, are only like basically two things that you would want to buy like on a turn-by-turn -turn basis because they actually like continuously do something. We could run you for a second. We get one free roll and then croissant. So it's quite possible that the squirrel's going to be like a one turn, you know, like only one of our units doesn't have a thing on it already. So once that's filled in, the squirrel's uh, usefulness is going to kind of dip a little bit. Now that won't matter at all if we die right here, so... Okay, so we lost one. I feel like there was one time where it said, like, here's your bonus heart, even though I don't think I had lost one. Maybe I just didn't realize. Okay, so this turn was useful, because this and this. From here on out, though, the squirrel's chances of doing anything are pretty weak. Someone won Groundhog. So if I wanted to be fresh, these two things actually can go together. It's like a summoner and a guy. But I'd have to get rid of something in order to do that. Specifically, I'd have to get rid of two things. And I don't want to get... I'd get rid of the squirrel, it's fine. Everything else I'm, like, semi-committed to. So I guess we'll just wait a second on that. Thank you, that's exactly what I wanted. And everyone's just getting more and more attack. We land our little baby rocket ships. At least, I mean, we could have put us all in one rocket ship, you know, it's not- we're not being very fuel efficient here. Is this gonna be our first win? No, it'll be our 17th draw, actually. Oh, look at you getting excited for a second. How cute. So uh, a rooster plus a moth can be okay, as long as the rooster isn't leveled yet. But that's not going to work, because I'm committed to this woodpecker, and it's going to do damage to anything in front of it, which means it has to be first. So what we're going to do is sell our squirrel and run a trumpet. Is this related to anything we already have? No. Are we going to switch our mosquito out for a lynx next turn? Maybe so. At first, our woodpecker has to prove itself. 
We sacrificed an option for you, Woodpecker. Did it just hit three things? Or I guess one of those was the mosquito. It looked like it hit the, the guy and the two. Oh my god, it first went. Alright, see? I was proven. Woodpecker for the win. You all wanted me to get rid of it. You all said- You said, Risley? It's not worth. Get rid of it. I said nay. This is why you gotta listen to your own soul. Now a turtle. I put a turtle in front of a moth. It's two tens. Is it worth getting rid of my eight trumpets? Eight trumpet is basically an eight eight. And this would be a two hits of a ten. So this actually is kind of better. Let's be boring for a second. We're gonna throw that out there. And you can take the hits, if only because your main purpose is to die anyway. Alright, you think you can beat me and my woodpecker squad? Yo, eat crap. Man, it's really hard. It sucks when you're going a uh, wasp. Just because it's so hard to get it where it where it needs to be to get good, and its HP is always so tiny that any sort of little poke before the round even starts and it's gone. And it's like, man, I, I put so much time, I've committed so many resources to trying to get this thing to work, and it's like, nah. All right. Do we want to switch anything? No, I would like some levels, thank you. Scaling. Now that's a concept. Scaling. Three, one, four, three. Could get rid of my turtle. I think this is probably worth it. It's like a little bit of a waste of money just because all the resources we've already invested. But we've almost got a level two poodle. This poodle was destined to be. Alright. And look, the poodle is like blending into our background. She's dressed for the weather. We've got our winter hats on. This round just wants us to win. The wasp can't beat us. Neither can your emu. We didn't even have to use the emergency honey badger. This is how successful we are in life. Okay, so... Tiger. A tiger behind the woodpecker can be pretty cool. I don't want to get rid of our lynx, but... It's hard, because if I was going to use a tiger, right, it's either going to be behind a lynx or behind a woodpecker. And he's already level 3, so I feel like I have to commit. So it's either got to be the lynx or the badger that's going to go... I like the lynx, but let's try this out just because I feel like this could get us some real high attack. And we can level up the poodle. Oh, and he's level 6. I also uh, just didn't consider the poodle, but at least it's still working out for us. And everyone's falling into the sky. I wonder if the default one is still default. I, I changed it pretty quickly, so I don't remember exactly like whether if I had just the foot one that looks like a shoe, if they'd actually still scuttle in like that. Ah, uh, boof. Ah, uh, boofy boof. I thought I was gonna die there. Golden Retriever was weak. Team cats. Okay, so that's amazing. This is great. I will wait on this, if only because... Prioritize for friendly things. For friendly random abilities. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, can you, like, force things like this ability that are like specifically says start a battle or something said specifically like one in front if you could force that to hit something else instead the answer is nay that's one problem with this like this donut and the blueberry is like it's cool because it's like a new food that is a new thing the problem is that they're both pretty they come in pretty quickly and they're taking up food spots from like actual stackings so the more and more food they introduce that do like a very specifically useful thing, the less space there is for just pure stack gains inside the food shop. Catfish. I just- I look at this and I really want to say Wishcash, which I believe is just the Pokemon catfish, but it just looks so similar to me. Okay, monkey. It is not worth switching out the level to Poodle, obviously, but I admit, I feel like I am pretty hooked on the monkey. Every time I see one, my brain says, that is the way. It is not the way right now. Um, we are on round six, or level six food items. There is chocolate. I have yet to see one. Feels a bit of a waste to spin past this, but I kind of want, like, useful foods. If we could just, uh, check some of those out. We can put this on our tiger. And this can go on something else. Who it will go on? Well, only the world knows. Who can really say? Ooh, snow versus the savannah. 
Okay, well, I think that, uh, super woodpecker- Oh, uh, I was gonna check out how much damage we were actually doing. I think it's doing, like, three damage to the first two, plus two because of pineapple. I really just need to put a B on that, bro. I feel like so many times now we've drawn that if I just went with full-on honey badger from the start, this, uh, this craziness would not be going down. So you can have that. And I- a chocolate. I accept, thank you. We still just want a bee, though. Come on now, bees. Bees for the win. I would like to fill my team with bees. Ooh, spoopy. He is going to kill my woodpecker. My dominant unit. A brief intermission. And we wreck them. I was just pausing for effect, you know? I just wanted to make sure that they could cower a little bit in the eyes of fear. Okay. A badger. You know, this is really a good sound suit again. I've got a low, two level threes, a level one, and two actual good units. That I'm like, boar, boar is great. Sadly, I have no room because I'm obsessed with babies. All I want are all the baby units. Okay, now imagine this, right? Two damage to the nearest two pets triggers three times. And I, I don't know if the pineapple ability actually triggers for all three times or just once. Because if it's all three times, that's actually like a, a butt ton of... Uh, damage there, man. Come on. Seems a bit like overkill. Did that heart have like a little fist on it? <laughs> it looked like there was a little like gray hand like popping up with it. Mm. A turtle, my worst enemy. Also stats, my second worst enemy. You should have been killed before you haven't got a chance to attack, kid. Alright, everyone also knows that using snakes is cheating. Um, and as such, we will win, you know? That's the only way. We can't just let them get away with that. Get away with using a snake in this day and age. Uh, melon. I think, yeah, his HP is fine. He's doing like 50 damage, so that's about as much as he can do anyway. And now that I say that, I completely forgot that I was planning on putting a B on there. But honestly, if he survives one attack, that might be enough to get him uh, useful anyway, so. Part of me wants to say that we're not getting a lot of doubles in terms of like being able to level up very much. And also, I think I've seen, like, none or one chocolate. But then most of my team is actually level 2 or 3, so... Maybe I'm just being whiny about it. Alright, our super woodpecker does not seem to be standing up as much to the current level. Uh, my badger is going to kill me. Uh, so, uh, thank goodness it was able to survive purely on stats. Because that would have been a, a great sadness, I would say. Almost level 3. A stew. I'm choosing to ignore the moth, but every time they show me one, I'm getting a little bit more bitter about it. A muffin. Realize it's a cupcake. They should really add a muffin to the game. I feel like they're a lot cooler than cupcakes. Cupcakes are too sweet. Too nasty. It's kind of like, um, those tiny baby cupcakes that they always take to, like, elementary school birthday parties. On that note, those little sugar cookies that are, like, perfect circles and they're, like, white, with just a perfect circle of icing on top. That I think everyone always used to bring to school birthday parties because they were super cheap, so the parents were like, this is the easiest way to go. And it sucked for me because I always thought they were nasty. And everyone else always seems to love them, but every birthday party, I was so disappointed because it was one of the only things anyone ever bought, and they were just so gross. <laughs> Alright, so we've seen three mods now. It, it was definitely possible that we could have actually maxed out had we been committed to that, but we sure, t we sure not. Eternadon. Friend faints. If it was a faint pet, activate it again. It works one time per turn. I could also see how that would be super cool. I mean, a lot of faint abilities kind of... They wouldn't be helped all that much just because, like, a turtle would just give melon armor to the same guy and stuff like that. But, like, combined with the one that gives eight trumpets, if you just had, like, four of those and then, like, one pterodactyl, that'd be a lot of trumpets. <laughs> I think the dog you can summon probably maxes out a 50-50, so it's not as, like, it'd be a little bit of an overkill probably at that point, but it would look cool and it would strike fear into the eyes of your enemy. Oh, see, they're just walking and they don't even have any fighter jets. You know, that's how you really terrify someone. You hit him with the, uh, aerial descent. Oh, please, squid, squid. Squid, you were my best friend. We were brothers in prison squid and you do me like this. You do me bad like this. But like, yeah, see, I feel like I've lost so many times. 
in this game it's like round 18 already but i'm still like two away from actually dying i guess that's the biggest takeaway from this new health system is that uh the game used to last pretty short you know it could be like really fast honestly like maybe like five minute game rounds but this one's actually going quite a bit longer just because it's a uh, artificially extended i guess okay so we're gonna prioritize super woodpecker over badger for this turn and hope that this doesn't come back to get us after this my hopes of evolution are basically done i feel like it's gonna the chances of us living in this game for long enough to get anyone else up to level three besides the badger now is kind of weak oh what he didn't kill a single soul oh what a waste and we have a level three rooster okay so this is a heart god um if only my my badger's ability was like on level up hit the entire team when you die instead of just the one guy. So we have to win twice, and honestly, I feel like our uh, our team is kind of aged out. I don't think we're really up to standards for where we should be in the game right now for this to work out. And pizzas if they're level two, my woodpecker has the potential to do a lot of stuff. Okay, so it looks like it was doing four damage, two plus two. So yeah, I think at least the pineapple is working. It's just that it's so much baby damage, you know, like just little baby ticks, that it's not really enough to fully break through somebody as easily. But right here... The bee! The bee! Murdered by a bee. My kingdom for a bee. Meh. Did we get a special prize? To calm my crying heart. We don't. A hat! Oh my god, we're wizards!